On the 2nd of May, the association launched the NASFAV Reform Initiative, in which they consult students on their concerns about the Namibia Student Financial Assistance Fund and recommendations. At Rundu, students shared their grievances, stating that the non-tuition fee is important as it caters for essential expenses such as accommodation, food and transport. What we have discovered is that students from different, from different institutions receiving various amounts of non-tuition fees despite having similar academic qualifications and grades. And it's obvious all these institutions are all accredited by Namibian Qualification Authority, which is NQA. This is clear, this is clear violation of the principle of equality and fairness. So far, students at Aubachipanga has been funding themselves. NSF did not start funding us due to the criteria that they have to follow before they start funding us. So students at Aubachipanga have been facing problems financial problem which was made plus minus 20 students to drop out of tertiary because they cannot fund themselves, which is so bad. By denying or taking long to process or payment of the non-tuition fee to students at the same time, therefore, uh, specifically girls are being forced to do in moral activities such as prostitution, to get money to pay their rents and to cater for all their needs and wants. NASA's president, Vihemba Paulus, explained that by NASA's Act 26 of 2000 and Article 4 of the Act outlines the objectives of the fund, which is to provide financial assistance to students in order to enable them to study or do research in prescribed courses at approved institutions of higher learning. He says the act is not consistent as some approved institutions are not fully funded or are not funded at all. We strongly believe the current NSF policy, the Student Financial Assistance and Deficit Government Policy Procedures and Procedures 21, is inconsistent with the act and does not achieve and promote the, the objective of the act because it is discriminatory. Because of its uh, the discriminatory policy and the regulation that purposely uh, purposely excludes mainly one find students either based on institution they study on or on their financial or economic basis of their parents or due to strain uh, ministerial budget. After the consultations, the association is seeking to address various issues including parental gross income and efficient payment of student funds, mature age entry and the pre-determined rate funding criteria. Paulus says with their findings, NASA will compile a document that will serve as a foundation for negotiation with the Ministry of Higher Education and NASFAV in July this year.